hi in today's video you're going to learn about the 13 ways you can use to know if a website is legit or it's a scam so the rate at which people especially from zambia are getting scammed online is increasing each and every day and this is all because of lack of knowledge on how to identify if a website can be trusted or not but worry no more because in today's video i am going to share with you my 13 ways i use to know if a website is legit and if a website is a scam so most of the videos i post on my channel about how to make money they are proven to make money and they are proven to pay you and they are legit they are real they do work so you might be asking yourself how do i find out if a website is legit how do i know that it can be trusted so this is what this video is all about you're going to learn everything you need to know so i strongly advise you to watch this video to the end this video is not yet to waste your time after watching this video you will never be scammed you will never lose time you will never lose money on any platform so by watching this video to the end you're going to learn a lot of things on how you can identify if a website is legit and if it is a scam but before i show you the 13 ways you can use to know if a website is legit or fake there's some things you need to know so the first thing you need to know is that sometimes if a website is a scam okay so a scam website is something which is like fraudulent like the way it operates it's not really a registered business so a scam website can be working and paying other people but eventually after some time it can disappear and run away with your money so these are the things you need to know is that a scam website yes can be working it can be paying other people some people can be making money out of it but that process is not for the wrong uh it's not for the long run eventually after some time it can disappear and go away with your money or it can be able to pay other people and not pay you so that's a scam website so don't be deceived when you see a website whereby, whereby you get convinced no other people are getting paid so i'll join no don't join even if other people are getting paid because it's a scam and eventually it can go away so when it comes to a legit or legal business get that on you can you rely on it because it's a registered business it's proven you know where it is you know where it can be found okay so now that you know that a scam website can be able to pay you money it's time now to identify okay on how a website how you can find out if it is a scam or not okay so the first thing you need to do to know if a website is a scam or a legit one is to first to check how old it is so most of the websites which claim to pay you money when you invest when you do tasks when you do anything they will never tell you exactly when they launched some they will even lie you that our website started operating 10 years ago but when you try how old the website is you might find that it's, it's even less than a month old so i'm going to show you how you can check how old a website is so to check your your how old the website is simply go to this link here so i am going to uh i am going to share with you this link in the video description so when you visit this link just type in the name of the website you want to check how old it is so when you type in how old it is click on the search bar on the, yeah when you type in the name of the website then scroll down so the first thing you need to do to, to know is come over its written creation date so as for me, I registered my website in 2019, I think it was in September, so my website is now almost 3 years old or so. So when your website is more than 2 years old or 4 years old or 5 years old, it means that it has been existing and it can be trusted. But if your website, if you check your website and it shows that it's less than a month old, it's less than 2 months old and they are saying it has been existing for years, that's a red flag and you should not trust such a website because they are lying you it has not been existing it's very new so this is how you know if a website is new or not so all the links will be in the description so let's continue what's the other way you can know if a website is a scam or legit so the second way to know if a website is legit or a scam is to check first the contact page so what is the contact page so then let me just show you what a contact page looks like so i'm going to head over to my own website Show you love. You always hate me. I'll keep on one okay so this is my website so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the contact page so most websites don't usually have a contact page and if it doesn't have a contact page how are you supposed to contact them okay so on my contact page you have to provide information that people can use to get to you to contact you so my contact page i've added some frequently asked questions 
to save myself time okay so in case someone wants help from me they'll read some frequently asked questions before contacting me okay then if they don't find any other question or if they don't find an answer to their question they can just scroll down and use the form and contact me or they can whatsapp me or email me or call me so a legit uh, website has to have these details they, they need to have their number okay their email address or their contact form and when you contact them they need to reply to you within 24 hours but in some cases they take time but they should definitely contact you back within a week so if you contact a website through their form and they don't reply within a week or maybe they don't reply at all that's a red flag you should not trust it okay they have to get back to you within a week or within a month but sometimes the messages go into spam so try to follow up again as much as possible continue trying until you get the reply if you don't that's a red flag again so what's the third way you can know if a website is a scam or legit before you invest your money and your time or effort okay so the third uh, way to know is is to check the about us page so what is the about us page so the about us page it's a page on a website that shows information about who the company is, where the company they are found, the owners, and so on, and everything you need to know. So I'm going to go to my website, I'll scroll up, and I'm going to click on About. So what is on About page of my website? So on my About page, you're going to see who is Keith Rains. Keith Rains is a freelancer in such and such and such. Okay. Yeah, I also have my story, a minority content creator, and so on. Okay, so on my about page, there's even the links to my YouTube channel, to my Instagram, to my Facebook. They can also WhatsApp me, uh, join my social media platforms. Okay, on my about us page, I've also added some my services so that people can know who I am and what I do. Okay, on my about us, in case someone wants to contact me, they can also contact me directly just here. So this is how an about us page looks like. An about us page should have information about the company or the owner, who it is, what he does, and everything else you need to know. So if a company has got this type of details, try to confirm if they are real and that can be trusted. But some of the websites out there, they have nothing on the about us page. There's only written like make money and that's it. So that should not be trusted. That should be considered as a red flag. So now what is the fourth point? Okay, so the fourth point is to check the privacy policy. So what is a privacy policy? So a privacy policy is more like an agreement telling you how a website handles your co your information you provide, such as your cookies, your names, uh, like when you join or you register an account. Okay, so let me just show you my privacy policy. Okay, so most websites they will definitely show you their privacy policy in the footer. So as for me, I don't have my privacy policy in the footer, but because no one really reads the privacy policies, but I do have one. So all you have to do is just click on the search bar here, and I'm going to search for privacy, uh, privacy policy. Okay. Okay. So here is my privacy policy over here. That happens to be like a lot of privacy policies okay so this is my privacy policy showing you how i handle your a data i collect from you so when you comment to my website i usually collect your email address your names for palm checking and so on and for verification so when you comment on one of my posts you definitely see other people commenting and you'll be able to see their names but you won't be you won't be able to see their emails on i myself so how i how do i handle your emails how do i handle the details so everything you need to know is in the privacy policy which is over here okay you can search check it out at your own time so now what is the fifth way so the fifth way to know if a website is legit or a scam is to check their terms and conditions most scam websites do not have terms and conditions okay so what are terms and conditions terms and conditions they are agreements or conditions that protect a website from anything that would happen so if you do not agree to the ten, uh, terms and conditions of a website 
we should definitely not continue visiting your website so by visiting your website um by visiting your website proves that you agree to the terms and conditions of any website you visit on any uh in anywhere so if you visit any website like google website you definitely agree to their terms if you don't agree to the terms and conditions of the website then you should not continue visiting it so we do not need to sign it anywhere to agree the terms and conditions of the website simply by continuing visiting the website you actually agree to the terms and conditions so you should definitely be checking out the terms and conditions so as for me i do have the terms and conditions okay so let's just search for it and find out and read for ourselves okay so uh i've got two uh terms and conditions okay so on my terms and conditions you're going to see a lot of things you need to agree in fact you don't even have to agree simply by visiting my website you actually agree to the terms and conditions this applies to all websites okay so my terms and conditions have a lot of conditions you need to agree for you to work with me so you can read them in case you're interested at your own time okay so what is the sixth way to know Exclusive DJ Okay, so the sixth way to know if a website is legit or a scam is to check their grammar, correctness, and spellings. Okay, so a lot of scam websites have noticed that their spellings are usually wrong and their grammar does not make sense. Okay, so you have to definitely check their grammar and spellings because these are red flags that you should not be trusted and it should be considered as a scam because these scam websites are usually created by people who are not very educated people who are different who are disparate looking for money people really want to scam other people and these same people are not usually like educated or something like that yeah. so check their grammar and their spellings you definitely know that okay this one is a scammer and so on so what is the seventh way keep on playing me i keep on praying Okay, so the seventh way to know if a website is legit or a scam is to check if it has an SSL certificate. So what is this? So an SSL certificate is this one here, the green padlock. Okay, so when you click over here, it will show you that this connection is secure. But most of the websites you will find that is usually in red and it will show you that this website is not secure. So if it is not secure, that is a red flag that you should not be trusted. Okay? But this is not enough proof that you can use to check if a website is trusted or not. Okay? A lot of scammers these days are getting smart, they are securing their websites even if they are scammed. So um, this does not really mean that if it is secured, then it is legit. No, it can be secured and it can be a scam but just take note of it okay so what is the eighth way to know so the eighth way is to know is to scan the website for viruses okay so how do you scan a website for viruses there are a lot of websites you can use to scan a website for malware if it has got infections and so on so to do that my favorite one i like using is called virus toto okay so just search for virus toto and what you need to do is you can upload a file a url or a set so i'm going to do click on url and i'm going to paste in my website so let's scan my website if it has viruses Okay, so let's give it some time. Okay, so as you can see, it's saying no security vendors flagged this URL as Malaysia. So my website is very clean, there's no viruses. Okay, so these are the systems that tried to scan my website for phishing things and viruses. Okay, so you should definitely be using this website to scan if your website can be trusted or not. So as you can see my website is very clean so it can be trusted and it's legit yeah <laughs> okay so now let's continue come one day i'll keep on praying keep on playing me
Okay, so the ninth way to know if a website is legit or a scam is to verify if it exists on Google Maps. So what is Google Maps? Google Maps, you can actually also uh, add your business on Google Maps so that people can find your business easily. So most businesses which really want to make money online, they usually uh, put their businesses on Google Maps so that people can usually find their shop and find their shop easily without having to call them like where is the shop where can i find you google maps can actually show you where a shop is located exactly so as for me yes i did uh list myself on google maps so all you have to do is let's go to google and let's go on google and search for keith uh Renz. okay when you search for keith Renz, okay you are going to see my google my business panel here okay so this is my google my business uh, listing over here so all i have to do is click on directions so now let's continue to the 10th point okay so the 10th way to know if a website is legit or a scam is to check their social media presence a lot of scam websites they don't have a Facebook page, they don't have an Instagram page, they have nothing at all. Okay? So we definitely need to check out their social media presence. As for me, I have all my social media presences uh, somewhere. Okay? So we can find all my links to my platforms here. Let me just give you the link. So just visit my website. Okay, so this link is also there in my Instagram bio. Okay? So here above are my links to my social media platforms, so my YouTube, uh, my Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, my Facebook page, okay? So if you'd like to follow me, you can definitely do that, uh, really appreciate, okay? Okay, so this is my Instagram page over here, okay? Okay, I now have got about 2,000 subscribers or followers, so you can follow me if you'd like to. So a Reddit platform or a Reddit website should definitely have a social media presence. So what is the 11th way to know if a website is a scam or a legit one? Okay, so the 11th way is to know if it is local, you can try by visiting it. Okay, so if there's a company you don't really trust, try visiting it if they've got your location, if it's nearby. Okay? So if it's nearby like in your location, try visiting it if you can't really trust it online. That can work too. But otherwise, try the other points above. So what is the 12th way? Yeah, so two days ago, I made a video about how you can actually make money by doing nothing. So I already received some comments that no, it's fake, blah, 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 and so on. So actually, this video I made two days ago, it's very... Uh, it does really pay okay yeah it works i have gotten paid my friends have also gotten paid okay so now if you can't trust the website that it pays the other way you can know if it is legit or a scam is by reading reviews okay and that is the 12th point so try to read reviews online both positive and fake so don't read reviews from people who are trying to recruit you to join no don't ask them how it's working try finding out your own reviews on your own because those people who are recruiting you they, they only want to make money after they recruit you they won't tell you the truth if it is legit or not they only want to earn money out of you so to do that just make use of google google is free so just go on google and search for a website okay so just go on google and search for something like sms profit review so when you search for that you're going to see a lot of posts people have written about if it is review if they've got if they've got paid or if it's a scam so i've also written a review which is this one over here okay so you can just read it out and see i've also provided my payment proof on how i got paid and how it works and so on so this is this is another way you can know if a website is a scam or a legit so try to read online reviews or even offer reviews from other people but don't try to take advice from the people who are trying to recruit you because all they're interested in is to earn that referral income bonus and so on okay so and the last point you can know if a website is ready to a scam is okay so the 13th point you can use to know if a website is a scam or legit is to check if it is using us numbers 
Okay, so a lot of scam websites usually use USA numbers and their contact pages in the WhatsApp groups and so on. But as that now, it is easier to get a USA number from anywhere for free. Okay, if you're from anywhere like in Zambia, Africa and so on, it's very much possible to get a USA number for free. So a lot of scammers uh, use this, in, uh, they abuse this thing because they create a free USA number and they create a website and they came to be from USA registered and they scam you because they've got a USA number. So don't believe them that it's a USA campaign. So how can you prove this? So to prove this, ask to be to chat to them, okay? If they are really legit, they will definitely accept to video chat with you, okay? If they refuse to chat on WhatsApp for video calls, you can chat with them on any other platforms. But make sure that they are the ones, okay? So this is the most important part. A lot of them use USA numbers. So try to verify if they are really in USA or not. So try to video chat with them. If they refuse, that's a red flag. Just know they are hiding something. Because if it is really a legit platform, they should not hide anything at all. They should definitely uh, agree to video chat with you and see. If they refuse to video chat with you, try calls. Yeah, try calls. And based on their accent, you'll be able to know if they are really from USA or they are from Africa. Okay. So these are the 13 ways I had for you on how you can know if a website is a scam or if it is a legit. So from now on, I hope uh, we will never hear any cases where someone has lost money, someone has lost this and this. So this video should clear you out, should help you differentiate if a website is a scam or if it's not. Okay. But in some cases, it's hard to know if it is really a scam or not. So in such a case, feel free to comment on any of my videos asking for help to know if a website is a scam or not. So I'll definitely review it for you for free. So if you are looking for real working staff, I'll share there to help you money. I have everything you need to know on my YouTube channel. So my YouTube channel is here to teach you everything you need to know about making legit money online without having to worry stress about losing money so all the methods posted on this youtube channel really work they've been proven tried and they work okay so definitely subscribe to my youtube channel watch more videos and let's make money together so i have a lot of videos to help you make money online so definitely subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next video next time don't forget to give this video a like. Bye for now. Well, I'm gonna keep on hating. What's love if you're hating? Nigga, well, I'm gonna keep on hating. You take me on, food, you couldn't fuck her.